Hello and good morning. Um, uh, I guess it's afternoon now. Happy Saturday to you guys. Thank you so much for um, tuning in and watching my channel. Watching my uh, crazy stuff going on about the event slash dreams um, and just odd things going on that I've been noticing. So I was laying in bed last night. Couldn't sleep. I think I had um, caffeine a little too late and I was thinking that I needed to share with you some stuff that um, I keep forgetting to share with you kind of that happens to me so let me tell you first of all I dreamed last night I keep telling you guys about um, Devin on Flat Earth Paradise because he's got dates he's got gematria if you don't know what that is it's um, certain code um, check him out so I had this dream last night when I did fall asleep I was up till probably after two I couldn't sleep I was like wide awake and um, so it was driving me crazy because I was tired I was really tired but I couldn't sleep so oh and I had a migraine I had a migraine yesterday and I waited too long to take something and it just was like pounding and so anyway I finally got rid of my headache and then I couldn't sleep and it was 2 a.m. and I was on the on my you know laptop looking up any videos if I had missed anything important and then I remembered when I was laying down finally at 2 a.m. to share with you guys something okay so I'm in Florida right now and let me go back so I think it was around beginning of January maybe sometime in early January I think um, I was at my mother-in-law's in Palm Bay and my husband was out walking her dog and because he kept whining he kept you know whining and whining so he's like I'll take him out and in the meantime I was talking to um, one of my daughter's friends he's a really sweet guy actually it was probably January 7th or 8th because I think so anyway I'm sorry if the dates are off because I had just lost my doggy Haley and Jimmy my daughter's friend was calling me to give condolences about my doggy and so I'm inside otherwise I'd have been outside walking the dog too with my husband and my husband starts yelling he's like hi hi you gotta come here quick quick oh my god hurry so I was like hold on Jimmy you know and I'm on the phone and I run out he's like look look in the sky and so he comes, I come running out and I see this bright red light in the sky and it didn't look like a rocket, okay? First of all, I'm a native to Florida. I was born in Cape Canaveral, so I have seen, except for living, you know, moving around with my, my kid's dad, a, you know, a few different stations when he was stationed, you know, in the army, going to different places. I have lived in Florida all my life. Maybe, maybe, let's see, 90... 2000 yeah about 12 years that I didn't live here for my whole life anyway hey get out of there sorry bed sitting again okay so anyway um, I know what rockets look like that go up in the dark this was at night by the way I'm sorry I didn't um, stipulate that it's at night it's around it's dark it's like when it got dark early it's like seven so come here Ainsley so it goes up, it lights up the sky. You know, that would be a normal rocket. My husband said, you know, I'm gonna run and get my camera because he has a really nice camera that we do our filming with. And as he's gone, I see this big red circle. And it looks like it explodes. Okay, not the first one, because I missed the first one going up. There was another one that went up. I saw this circle shooting up in the sky. This thing shooting up blew up into like this circle and there was five things that shot out from it and one of the things that shot out from it went over to the right towards the east towards the southeast and it sat there and I said what the hell is that my husband thought we were being invaded by <laughs> like aliens or whatever and so later I found out that that was a supposed rocket no something something was amiss somebody's lying Okay, so fast forward to weeks and weeks, months later, even now, every night in the sky, 
there's this orange. It's not, um, it doesn't look like a star, you know, what we call stars. It's not like diamond color. It's not bright white. It's orange. And ever since that night, it has been in our skies. I don't know what it is. I don't know who it is. But now it's lower than it ever is. And now it's in the west. So if you're in Florida, um, you know, central Florida, look up in the sky tonight early. It's out there early. It's not a planet. It's an orangish color. And it's in the west. I would say maybe a little in the um, northwest, but mainly in the west. And it's just sitting there. And it's lower. It's like really low now on the horizon. Not, not that low, but it's not high in the sky like when you see normal stars. And we're just like, it's not, it's not, we don't know what it is. And we're wondering, is anybody like looking in the sky? Does anybody look in the sky anymore and see stuff? Or question anything? You know, the moon being out all day long. And anyway, I want you guys to look for that. Even if you're not in Florida, you know, maybe you'll be able to see it. But it's kind of low. Um, you know. It's not on the horizon, but I would say halfway between looking high in the sky and looking at the horizon, it's halfway there. And it's pretty, it's pretty low. Like if it's, you know, it could be blocked by trees and, and houses. So I wanted to share that with you because we want to know what it is. You know, is it the mothership waiting to visit? Excuse me. Or um, has information for us and they're just waiting and every day it gets lower and lower and it's going to land, I hope. That would be so cool if it was. Okay, so that's the thing I've been meaning to tell you all. To check it out. Look in your west, northwest sky. Especially if you're in Florida. Look for this orangish thing. And if you have a telescope, please use it. And um, give feedback. Let me know what you see. Because I don't have one. And I would love to know what the hell it is. Okay, so second thing. Ever since I've been clearing my heart chakra, I've been told by um, an intuitive lady, psychic, who just kind of found me on Facebook, but she said I found her somehow. Maybe I was guided. Um, I have been having these, like, I told you, off-world-ish off dreams. Well, last night, when I finally fell asleep, this morning early, I was in communication with Hermes, which is Devin from Flat Earth Paradise. And I, I know he was giving me information. We were communicating. I don't remember what the information was. Um, I'm still trying to remember most of my dreams. I remember them and then I forget and I need to put a note beside my bed and just jot it down even if it's in the dark. Just one memory. Because if you do that, you'll remember more of your dreams. If you wake up too in the middle of the night and you start dreaming again, you'll remember the one that you just had. So just jot something down that you remember like stairs on a cliff like I had anyway just remember specifically I was being downloaded all this information consciously I don't remember it right now but I seem to work well and best with signs and symbols numbers signs and symbols come here Ainsley and um so that's how I'm usually contacted by my higher self source whatever you want to call it spirit angels um, so I wanted to share that with you that I've been communicated with ever since I started clearing my heart chakra um, and I guess there's 12 layers of clearing so I got some more work to do and then I'm going to work on um, cutting the etheric um, cords and um, I probably put the link in the bottom because if you have any past life um, issues that you need to cut ties with etherically, then you got to listen to these um, rifes, these 432 hertz stuff. Just listen to it, you know, have it on in the house when you're home, put your headphones on, listen to it, because to be able to move on and let things go, you have to cut the cords, you know, cut the ties. Ainsley, come here. And so I need to work on that, and then clearing my root chakra, and then I'll be like good to go. Supposedly a week from today, says Hermes, Thoth, Sophia from Flat Earth Paradise. Today, a week from today, the 14th of April, is um, 
when the big event is coming that we'll be uh, woken up. So, so excited. I hope it's true. You know, I hope so. If it's not, it's okay. Um, it is coming. It will be here no matter what. Don't know exactly when, but that's what he says. So, I'm not saying the date. He did. Um, so, yeah, so um, do your homework yourself. Don't listen to everything. You know, don't believe everything that everybody's saying. Do, you know, get some information from me. And then go and do your own research. That's what I encourage. Um, I also have this weird thing that I wanted to share with you. So I was listening to this lady. Her name was um, Cindy K. Courier. And she's like way above, beyond her time. Um, she wants to free people and teach them about how to basically start anew. We don't need this type of government and whatnot. And something, I haven't watched her, her um, any of her videos in like months. Last night something said, look up Cindy K. Courier. I look her up. Her stuff's gone. Her site's gone. She's disappeared, her brother said. Um, all of her information is gone, like wiped out. And supposedly her brother's been like dogging her on um, YouTube. I think he's a, I think he's either CIA or something. And then she popped up recently and she, she used to be in her trailer when she, her little RV when she would um, film her stuff. Now she's got like a white background and she's all incognito and she has a new name. And um, it's weird, like she's been missing for months, probably hiding. And all of her information to help free humanity, boom, disappeared, gone, erased from YouTube. So I think like someone's trying to get to her. Well, they already have got to her and maybe threaten her. I don't know. But something told me to look her up and sure enough, she's been missing and she finally had a new video. It's been months. It came out three weeks ago. So apparently she's okay, but something's going on with her. And um, so check her out. And um, I forget the name of that video. I'll put that in the link too. I'll put her her new two channels in the in the link. And then you can check her out because she's got really good information that a lot of people don't want to get out. So, uh, man, it is hot today in Florida. It's like 90. Welcome, not spring, welcome to summer. <laughs> so, anyway, this has just been a little short video and I wanted to share those important things with you. And if you want to remember your dreams at night, I would encourage you to tell yourself, I'm, I will remember my dreams tonight. And... I will remember the most important ones if I can't remember all of them. And have a little pen and paper beside your bed. And you don't have to even turn the light on. If you wake up in the night and you remember one thing, jot it down. Put it to memory. And then go back to sleep. Um, man, I can't wait. I'm going to get my hair dyed. <laughs> I'm, I don't like gray hair on me. I'm too, I'm too young to be gray. Anyway, um, I love you guys. And guess what? Thank you so much to my new subscribers. Thank you. I'm up to... I think 86 and when I get to 100 I'm going to do a live show so I'm super excited to do that with you guys and then you know, everybody can chime in and give their information you know and, and we can talk and have a chat I would love that um, I'm also going to put like I usually do our new movie it's free for Amazon Prime members Hollywood and Vine by Ronald Farnham um, we have our true stories um, abduction alien abduction video and that is on um, free on Amazon Prime if you have it and our true our um, love at first sight is my baby's in it and um, it's a music video so I'll put the links in the bottom and I appreciate you looking at them and um, just stream them if even if you're not home because we get like a couple cents on the whole movie if you stream it and um, I love you guys and thank you again my new subscribers and if you're not subscribed yet please subscribe so I can get to my hundred and then I'll do a show okay and thank you, and like it. Please like it and share with your social media so I can get this word out there. Oh, and by the way, Facebook. I can't stand them. Sorry, Facebook, but I'm not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Facebook banned me and said I'm not allowed to post on any groups or comment. So if somebody has made a comment, I can't even comment back. And I don't want people to think that I'm ignoring you. If there's a comment, I would always answer you back. So um, I've been messaging people and saying, hey, I've been blocked. They freaking blocked me. So, screw you, Facebook. Anyway, that's the only way I can kind of get the word out is through Facebook and here.
So, um, they're asses. So, Facebook's going down soon, I hope. All it is is a CIA troll site. It really is. If you do your homework, it was created by the CIA. So, thanks, Mark. All right, I love you guys, and have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.